bet you're pretty proud of yourself. I am. Whatever. <laughs> is that really all you have to say to me? So what if it is? Bye, Shotzi. Are you ready? Geneva, hi. What are you doing here? Ready for what? She didn't tell you? Who? What? Where? Why? Geneva, I have no idea what you're talking about. We're gonna take a road trip down to NXT for Sally's first match? Yeah, but wait. She's already gonna debut? She didn't tell me. Oh, I bet she's nervous. I'm sure she just doesn't want to let you down. Unless I missed a message. I've been terrible about checking DMs and... I hope she doesn't think I've been blowing her off. I'm sure everything will be fine. Just jump in the car with me, grab a bunch of junk food, and roll down there to hang with Sally like the old days. What do you say? Give me five minutes to pack up. We're going to show Psycho Sally that you can take the girl out of TBD, but you can't take the TBD out of the girl. That uh, doesn't make a huge amount of sense in this context. We're going to NXT Geneva. Sheesh. Cap, you came. Have you met all the cool people in this locker room? Everyone's amazing. We literally just walked in the door. Geneva's here too. She got to talking with Justine about one last indie run. You know how they get. Oh, MG, I would do bad things to good people to have a match with Justine. You and me both, but you gotta focus up. First NXT match tonight. That's a huge deal. Who are you up against? Blair Davenport. She's really good. Heck yeah, she is. But I remember everything you and Geneva taught me. I've been putting in the work with my coaches at the PC, and everyone around here is making me feel so welcome. That's great. But remember, everyone in this locker room is scrapping for the same spot on the elevator going up. Sometimes the biggest smiles hide the sharpest knives. You are cynical and jaded and I heart you. I'm just saying, Stone Cold was right. Don't trust anybody. I trust you and Geneva completely. See, that's your first mistake. We're both wrestling promoters. Ha ha. Seriously, thanks for coming. It means a lot, Cap. That's nothing. You just go out there and do your best. Really? No. You go out there and beat Blair Davenport's ass. Oh my goodness, your first match! You must be so excited! I've never been more excited in my whole entire life, Fanny. It's amazing, right? The butterflies, the adrenaline, it's the best feeling in the world! I can hardly hold it in. I want to go out right now! Ah! Shh. You just don't want people to see you so enthusiastic around here. Most of the locker room, they're like the cool kids, you know? The cool kids? Yeah, people like us. Effervescent, big personalities who love to spread their enthusiasm. A lot of folks, they don't like it. Especially Blair. Blair Davenport? Yeah, she's got mad beef with anyone she finds overly passionate. I'd watch it in your match out there tonight. Maybe tone it down a bit. Oh, I see. Thanks for the heads up. But if Blair is too cool for school, I think the right move is actually the opposite. I'm going to have to work overtime to tone it up and show Blair Davenport and the rest of the locker room just how much I love wrestling. That's not what I meant. Blair won't like that. Then Blair is gonna have an unpleasant night. Thanks again for the advice, Fanny. See you after my first NXT match. Wow, this is exciting.
It's Psycho Sally, the maven of mayhem and madness. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, Psycho Sally. Recruited by the legendary Justine at WWE tryouts, Psycho Sally has been lighting the world on fire in NXT. Lighting fires is a serious red flag, Saxton. Seriously, it's on all the lists of deviant behaviors to keep an eye out for. Blair Davenport, the self-proclaimed scourge of the women's division. Yeah, a mix of gothic charisma and cold-hearted fury. And from Wellington, New Zealand, Blair Davenport. This woman is the textbook definition of ruthless. You gotta love Blair Davenport. sinister mind and amazing in-ring skills. Now, yeah, Michael, a truly merciless competitor who's out to hurt anyone who stands across from her. Well, if that's what it takes, then so be it. There's a real buzz in the arena tonight, guys. Anticipation, excitement. You can always feel a little bit of extra energy whenever someone's making their debut. And you can feel that energy drop like a stone if that debut falls flat. It sounds crazy, but careers can be made and lost in a wrestler's first match. You only get one shot to make a first impression. We will see what Psycho Sally is able to do with hers. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. Uh oh. Way too. Oh, diving moonsault! Interesting. There's the backslide driver. Wrenches the arm. Drop kick. Beautiful. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. <laughs> Leaping into the wheelbarrow, up and around, into the DDT. Off into the pin. She breaks the count quick. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. What a response from Davenport. Oh my, down with authority. This is gonna be nasty kick right to the gut. And another. Whoa, suicide dive. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Thrown back in under the ropes. Big forearm. Arm ringer applied. Down for a European arm breaker. Right to the leg. She's taking a beating here. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Extremely painful hold there. Momentum is running away from Sally. Psycho Sally has to wake up and get going in a hurry. Oh, disabling the leg with that. 
And this is just a vulgar display of ruthlessness. My God, enough! And here's a cover. And a kick out. Not enough pressure on the pin. Oh, heel kick. Right on point. Well, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Catching a cutter. She starts to rise back up, but does she know where she is? And Sally is countered. Arm ringer applied. Down for a European arm breaker. Claire Davenport measuring her opponent. Davenport exercising her wicked willingness. Doing whatever she must to get what she wants. Claire's lining up to finish this off. Just driven into the mat. Psycho Sally crafting an attack. Standing Spanish Fly, are you kidding me? Incredible. Two. She kicks out. I don't believe it. How did that not end things for her? She's showing incredible resiliency. That is firing your biggest shot, but leaving your prey left standing. Time to reload. Incredible. There's two. And that will be it. Finally, a victory. What a hard fought win. Here is your winner, Psycho Sally. Blair Davenport couldn't come out on top tonight. Even with all her brutal savagery, Davenport just couldn't get the better of her opponent. Fanny, did you see my match? I won. Congratulations. Man, you look wiped, though. You feeling okay? Honestly, I'm freaking gassed. Like, I've been doing a ton of cardio, but as soon as I stepped through the ropes, I was washed. Could you tell in my match? I wonder... You wonder what? Come on, Fanny. Tell me. Remember what I said about your opponent not liking big, cheerful personalities like ours? Yeah? Rumor has it that in the past, she's done things like swap out a girl's energy bar when she doesn't like her. Give her a placebo instead of protein. I'm talking sabotage. Sabotage? That's right, Sally. Do you know what this means? You're gonna have to take revenge. It means Blair respected my ability so much that she had to cheat to try and beat me. That is so cool. W uh, what? I've got Roxanne Perez next. Do you think she's a cheater too? I'm gonna go ask her. Sally, I don't think. Thanks, Benny. Talk to you later. Get ready for the untamed and unashamed Psycho Sally. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, Psycho Sally. It's time to get psycho, Corey. I wish. For a person who calls herself Psycho, Sally had better find that edge or her opponent tonight is going to send her right back to the asylum. A great young talent with an extremely bright future. And from Laredo, Texas, Roxanne Perez. 
before she turned 21 years old. She had already won the first ever NXT Women's Breakout Tournament and the NXT Women's Tag Team Titles. And she has a bright, bright future. The first superstar to compete on SmackDown, who was born after it premiered. Well, you're older than television itself, so I'll take your word for it, Saxton. Psycho Sally undoubtedly looking to create a little early momentum and build off the victory in her NXT debut match a week ago. One thing she can't build on is her passion. This girl is a real walking frenzy. She might be new to WWE, but Psycho Sally has shown a captivating level of enthusiasm. You can't help but root for her. Now, I can't decide if it's refreshing or annoying, but whatever it is, she does have a lot of it. Skull first. Oh, setting them up. There's the Canadian Destroyer. Wow. Penny predicament shoulders down. Trying to wrap up this match fast. Looking for a pinning combination here. No, driver. Looking for an early pin. Way too early. Single leg drop kick. Running Hurricane Rana. Fantastic. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Roxanne is being overwhelmed. Roxanne's having trouble assessing the situation. A neck breaker. Penny predicament. And the shoulders up. And her opponent isn't going to hand her a fast win. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Driven into the mat. On the middle rope. Oh, she lands hard. Right on point. Oh, man. She's going up. You can sense what her intentions are here. Launching. Oh, no! An absolutely terrible landing ringside. And she slides her back to the mat. Oh, look at head scissor. Oh, and a head scissor DDT. That could be it. Forget about pandering to the WWE Universe. That should keep her head in the game. Oh, what a counter. Uh. Running Hurricane Rana. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Fez press. Just going all out with every blow. Mounting a downed opponent, and look at them go over and over and over again. And a slap, too. Perez on the receiving end. And make it twice. Ouch. Ooh, she responds with a counter. Effective arm drag. Watch the athleticism of Perez with a beautiful back handspring sent on. And there was a little extra emphasis on that one. This goes to show you how bad Perez wants it. Still has a great amount of fight in them. Not going to let it end like this. Oh my goodness, that was even worse. She might be in some trouble now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer that Psycho Sally crafting an attack. Standing Spanish flyer, are you kidding me? Incredible. She kicked out. I would have bet this was one after that last hit. Goes to show you just never know what your opponent's capable of. A big opportunity falling through their fingers. You've got to continue fighting and hope your next big move is the last one. 
Ascending to the top rope. Oh my goodness! Are you kidding? Psycho Sally just taking a moment to soak it all in. Top rope, here we go! Uh oh, way too trying to do as much damage as humanly possible. But at what cost? Whip back into the ring. And Sally is keeping the match at her pace. This is where Roxanne will be tested. And that's another focused attack to her torso area. And Perez saw that coming. Perez managing to find some of that needed breathing room. It's time for her to take advantage of that misstep and take command. She wants it one more time. Standing Spanish fly. Are you kidding me? Incredible. is unreal, preserving her opportunity to keep this match alive. That was a great opportunity to put this one away, but it slipped right through her fingers. Ooh, she's getting fired up. Flying. Diving hammer strike. Anything Perez is trying is being suppressed. She's been pushed into a bad spot for sure. Oh, foot just stomping down. about that. Oh my God, what a kick. She's going for it. Man, that was a hard fought win. She's got to be proud Here's of her center win. tonight. Psycho Sally. Roxanne Perez simply came up short this time around. You have to hand it to Roxanne. She put everything she had into this match. Unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. Carly, it's been a minute. What's going on, girl? I'm doing good, but not half as good as you. You're on a tear, Sally. Two matches isn't exactly Taker's WrestleMania streak, but I've been feeling pretty damn good about myself. You know, every veteran I get in there with gives me a little hazing, but I still manage to win. Hazing? What kind of hazing? Well, Blair engaged in energy bar sabotage, and I'm pretty sure Roxanne Perez loaded up my backpack with rocks when I wasn't looking. I only found them there after I beat her. My back was shot for my match with her. Uh, did you not look in your exceptionally heavy bag? I was in the zone. Look, that doesn't sound very much like Roxanne to me. But... I did notice Fanny hanging out awful close to your locker while you were in catering. You sure it wasn't her? No way! Fanny and I are like two peas in a pod. We're both excited and so positive. People like us stick together. Do they? Maybe how much you're alike is the problem, Sally. Fanny might feel threatened. <sighs> wow. No way. That's amazing! She thinks I'm threatening? Hello, Fanny! Sally! Huge congrats on your win over Roxanne. Tremendous. Awesome. Thanks, Fanny. Seriously, I owe a ton of my success to you. What do you mean? The candy bars. The rocks in my backpack. That was all you. I... Uh, how dare you accuse me of such a thing? I'm Fanny. I'm the good guy around here. You know what, Fanny? You really are. You piled on the adversity. A sugar coma, burning quads. I can't even imagine what's next. You're so much the good guy. You prepared me to overcome it all. No, no! Ugh! I wasn't helping you. You weren't supposed to overcome. You were supposed to lose. There's only room for one charmingly enthusiastic ingenue in NXT, and that's me. Oh, wow. Do you know what this means? It means we're going to have a damn match. I mean, yeah, but also... Oh my goodness, I'm in my very first feud! 
We are not in a feud. We totally are! <gasps> You're my nemesis! No, I'm not. <laughs> this is so cool! When do we fight? <sighs> Whatever. I'll see you out there. Our tornado of thrills, a whirlwind of wrestling, Psycho Sally. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, Psycho Sally. Recruited by the legendary Justine at WWE tryouts, Psycho Sally has been lighting the world on fire in NXT. Lighting fires is a serious red flag, Saxton. Seriously, it's on all the lists of deviant behaviors to keep an eye out for. Super fan turned superstar. It's Maylee Fan. And from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Maylee Fanny Fan. Bailey Fan is one of WWE's most exciting talents. I think the word you're looking for is excitable, Saxton. This is a match she has long been asking for. She is more than ready to compete tonight. It's energy versus energy as the passionate newcomer takes on this spirited veteran. I've heard there's been some backstage jealousy between these two, and Bailey is determined to prove there's only room for one eager achiever in the WWE ring. She better be careful what she wishes for. Psycho Sally's put together two strong performances. She might be stealing Fanny's identity, but she has the moves to back it up. Wrenches the arm. Drop kick. Beautiful. Oh, looking for a backslide driver. Shoulders down for the count. Yeah, this early, no chance. <laughs> what are we going to see here? Oh, corkscrew neck breaker. This one is headed outside, guys. Oh, spike face first. And Sally is keeping the match at her pace. This is where Mei Li will be tested. And now gets tossed into the ring. Ooh, stomp to the back. Double stomp. <laughs> this combo is out of this world, Cole. The Lunar Combo. Psycho's. All right, snapping her back to reality. This isn't a pose off. Just driven into the mat. Soaring. Nasty hit on the face. Maylee's hopes are waning. She has to build the strength to turn the tide. Spinning heel kick. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Placed in the corner. Right in the chest. What a drop kick. Uh-oh. Oh, rotates out and gets the cover. And the rope saver there. Oh, uh, check this out. What a DDT. Man, good night. Cover! Kick out at one. I think this match still has a ways to go. And Sally is keeping the match at her pace. This is where Mei Li will be tested. Ooh. Oh, unloading a big kick to the back. Trying. 
pushing their opponent's arm out. Ah, double stop right to the arm. What a response from Sally. She saw it coming. Kick right to the face. Shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. And she fights it off. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Grabs a hold of Elbows to the face will create separation. Face buster. Mainly lining her up from the top turnbuckle. Blast off! Oh, she misses the mark. Oh, just turn that around. Fan gets countered. Running Hurricane Rana! Fantastic. She turns it around. Caught with a neck breaker. Drop oh, great height. And that failed to hit the mark. This could be it. Oh, barely kicks out. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. She wants it one more time. Standing Spanish fly. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Two count. Psycho Sally gets the win. Here is your winner. Psycho Sally. She has plenty to celebrate here tonight. I don't think Fanny would even ask for her own autograph after that loss. It certainly wasn't the signature victory Maylee fan was hoping for.